video, we're going to be looking at how to add some sounds to our game. Uh, we'll add sounds to our explosion. We'll add a sound for when we um, shoot bullets from our player. Um, and we'll add in some background music as well and kind of talk about how we can do some simple volume controls and, and sound mixing in Unity. So uh, we're going to start out by adding a sound to our explosion. So uh, sound in Unity um, is kind of handled in a few parts. S at least one object in your game needs to have what's called an audio listener. So when you drop a camera into a scene, it pretty much has an audio listener attached to it already. So think of the audio listener as the ears in your game. Um, this is where the, the position in your game world for the sound is being heard from. Uh, Unity does do 3D positional sound. Uh, in a 2D game like this, we normally just hang it on the camera, and since my camera is right here in the center of my scene, then if the sound happens on the left, it should sound like it's coming from the left. If it's on the right, it should sound like it's coming from the right, uh, which works good for our point of view in the game here. So that's our audio listener. And then if we want to make a sound, we have to give an object an audio source. So we have to pick an object that's going to make the sound, and then it's going to uh, hold the component for making a sound. So uh, we'll start with our explosion. So I'm going to go to my explosion prefab. See if I can find him. Here he is. And to make the explosion make noise, I have to give it an audio source component. So I'm going to go in here and add a component. This time I want an audio component. And the one I want is an audio source. All right, so now that I have an audio source, I can specify an audio clip. So this is the sound I wanted to make. I have brought some uh, audio into the project here. I've got one here that's for an explosion. So you can just drag and drop uh, WAV files or MP3 files right directly into your project panel here. So I just drag these in from outside the program. And uh, you can see in the inspector here that you'll get a waveform of what it looks like and there's a play button here too so we can play this sound so that's what the explosion sounds like do it again here so we're going to uh, make our our uh, explosions make this sound whenever they uh, go off here okay so i'm going to go back to my explosion prefab and to that audio source and for audio clip I'm just going to grab this explosion and drag and drop it right here into my audio clip slot. So now um, this audio source is loaded with the explosion sound. I want this to, to uh, play as soon as my explosion happens. So since I'm creating these explosions at the time they happen, if I say play on awake, it'll automatically play the sound for me. And then there's some other volume, uh, different uh, volume things we can do here. Uh, we're not going to mess with any of these right now. This should be fine for our simple 2D game. Um, and uh, we'll look at how to use an audio mixer here in a little bit to maybe control different volumes uh, and to balance our sound out a little bit. So at this point, we've got an audio clip loaded, and it's set to play on awake. So when I hit play now and I shoot my object, I should get a sound with the explosion. And there we had it. So... Um, Whoops, I missed. So every time I shoot one of these guys and they explode, I get a sound. All right, so that was pretty easy to add a sound to the, uh, to the uh, explosion. All right, let's add a sound when we shoot a bullet. So we could do that a couple of ways. I think the easiest though right now would be to use the same kind of uh, idea that we just used, which would be to go to our bullet prefab and let's just say every time a bullet's created that we make the, the shooting sound. So just like we did before, we'll go add a component, audio, audio source, and then let's find a sound clip for the bullet. I've got one here. This one here is kind of a, a laser kind of a sound. I'll, I'll let you hear what it sounds like. So that's the sound that we're going to use. I'm going to go back to my bullet prefab here. And then I'm just going to drag this sound clip to the audio clip uh, box here in the audio source. And again, we'll just say play on awake. And it'll just play one time when it, uh, f the bullet is first created. So let's see if we get that sound now when we play. So 
So you hear every time I make a bullet, it makes a sound. So we've got some shooting sounds and some explosion sounds happening in our game now. Uh, and then let's also look at how to do some background music in here, because the game's always a little more exciting if you got a little uh, background music going of some sort to help set the mood and the tone of the game. So I've got a, uh, a WAV file in here, um, right here, and this will be our background music. So you can hear a little bit about what that sounds like. Uh, and for background music, you can do it a couple of ways. In a simple game like this, usually what we do is we actually just put the background music on the camera itself. We let the camera make that noise. So I'm going to go to my camera, and I'm going to add again an audio source component. And then I'm going to drag my background music clip into there. Uh, and then this time I do want it to go ahead and start playing the music right away. And I'm and this uh, sound clip is is loopable. It loops. So I'm just going to uh, click loop here so that as I play the game, if I get to the end of my clip, it'll just start over at the beginning. It should be pretty seamless the way this clip was put together. All right. So now when I hit play, I should get um, some. I should get some uh, background music that starts playing right away. Alright, so you can hear there that the background music's playing, the shooting sounds are, are playing, and the explosions are all happening. And that adds um, a little bit more enjoyment and excitement to our game, having all those pieces added in. Now, there's a couple of ways you can control volumes in here. Uh, in something real simple like this, you could just go into all the audio sources and you could play with the priority, which um, basically says if there are uh, lots of sounds happening at one time, which one should get priority, which one should play, and which one should be degraded a bit or not play. Uh, you also have volume, where you can select the overall volume, so if I wanted my uh, music to be quieter, I could just drag this down a little bit lower and you know get things like pitch and pan and all that kind of stuff as well. Um, or you can do what's called an audio mixer. So uh, where we can get a better uh, kind of a visual feel and have some sliders to control that. So let's look at how to do an audio mixer. Uh, in my project panel here I can just say create an audio mixer is right here. So if I make an audio mixer and I give it a name, so this is just my um, Let's say my game uh, audio, and then I've got my audio mixer here. There's a there's a panel you can open for your audio mixer. If you don't have it on your screen already, you can go to Window, and then just the audio mixer, and that will open up the the screen here. Now you can see right now everything um, is just got a master slider, and I need to set up some groups so I can control the volumes of things independently and then I can assign my different sounds to those groups. So right here in groups I've got master already. Let's go ahead and add a group under master because we want the master to control the vol overall volume of our game. Um, in this group let's have one for our background music. And then let's add another group here for our uh, for our sound effects. Now you notice when I made that one that it indented it under background music so actually let's drag this up to master and drop it there so that these are both independent of each other so that sound effect and background when I change their, their uh, sliders here um, they won't uh, affect each other a master will affect both of them. Okay. So now that I've set up these groups, I can go back to my audio sources and I can assign them to a, a, a mixer group here. So let's go back to my um, objects that are making sounds, like my bullet. Bullet's making this sound. This will be a sound effect. So for output, I can either click the circle here, which will give me my, my groups that I want. So I assign that to sound effects. Or you can find it over here. The audio mixer will open up here and you've got your different uh, groups here and you can drag and drop into the into the slots here. So like I could grab sound effects and just drag it here and that would make the attachment as well. So either way you want to do that is fine. So that was the bullet. Let's go do the explosion. So the explosion sound here, let's give it an output audio mixer. So that would be in my sound effects as well. 
and then let's go to the camera where we have our uh, background music and let's go ahead and set that to our background group so now these are going to be controlled uh, controllable by my slider so I can go in here now and I can tweak and fine-tune um, the volumes of these in relation to one another so if I if I hit play here and play it If I drag the master up and down, it, it affects the volumes of everything. If I drag background down, it just brings down the volume of my background music. If I drag, if I drag the sound effects down, it brings it down. So, in this case, Good balance level. So you can see I brought my background music down a little bit. I left my sound effects up. Um, so you can uh, play with all of all of these uh, different sliders. You can add effects. You can uh, do all sorts of interesting things in here with sound. We're just keeping it simple for now. Uh, but that's one way you can get in here and you can control the different levels. And if we had uh, things like voiceovers in our game, anytime somebody was talking, we want the background music and everything else maybe to quiet down a bit so you can do what's called ducking, where you duck that volume down a bit while the, the, the dialogue happens and then the volume comes back up at the end. So there's all sorts of things we can do here with it. So that's how you can use an audio mixer. Or as I was saying before, you could just go into the individual objects and just change the volumes here. Uh, slide them up or down and then that would also set a relative volume uh, to the different objects. Alright, so we've managed to add in some sounds here in this video. We've got sounds for our explosions, for our bullets when they are shot, and for some background music in our game. Alright, so that uh, accomplishes what we were going to do in this video today uh, and we will see you in the next one.